Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Seeking the Bite. So we're going to be talking about this area over here in Dubai. This is the core area of Dubai. It can be considered prime real estate. This is where downtown Dubai is. And what we want to do is focus on the villas and townhouses. We want to talk about valuations. We want to talk about future supply. And one of the things that we really want to do is to try to help quantify this market. Because we've obviously had an incredible run in 2024, right? Which has even outpaced what we've seen in the previous three years. And we also saw a record-breaking number of transactions happen in two of the past three, four months. So what does that all mean? You know, as a company, we focus a lot on villas and townhouses. And to explain the villa and townhouse market in a more broader way, we can kind of break the bay down into five distinct uh, districts, right? And today, what we want to do is talk about the villas and townhouses just here in the core. This is the place where we have Sheikh Zayed Road. And this is downtown in Business Bay. And this is Al Khal Road. And this is the core belt. And you can see that 95% probably of all the villas and townhouses, the freehold ones anyway, they're all located over here near Merida and JLT. And then the other thing you'll see over here is that in this core belt, almost all the villa and townhouse communities are launched by either Amar, right, with Emirates living in Dubai Hills, uh, or by Nakhil or Medan. And, 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 and Medan is now part of Nakhil, right? It's one company. And most of the supply, of course, it started launching from 2001 onwards. Uh, has been launched in various stages, different cycles. But what you'll see is in this last three, four years, right, if you're looking behind downtown Dubai, the new supply that's coming in, that's been launched anyway, is District 1 Phase 3. This will hand over later this year. And so, you know, these are high resolution maps we can use to kind of look at these communities in a lot more detail. Then we've got District 1 West over here. And District 1 West was launched in 2023. And then in Dubai Hills itself, there haven't been uh, many new uh, enclaves launched. So we had Address Hill Crest and another smaller uh, enclave near Sidra with about 60 units. So, you know, not much new villa launches coming up here. So majority of the new supply that's been launched has been over here in al Furjan, and that's by Nakhil. And this is the new supply that's coming up. So we've just turned Muruj al East green, even though the handovers probably only allowed 10% of the units are delivered, but this is now considered like ready supply. And then through 2024, all the way through 2026, we're going to be seeing this kind of supply coming up into gated communities. Everything else in this area is is considered now mature. There are private developments taking place. So if you're looking at future supply, you're going to see plots being developed here in Jumeirah Park. Right? That's ongoing, but it's limited. And then we've got Alfred John West. This is plots launched back in 2013, 2014 by Nakhil, but the development has really ramped up. Over here, there are currently at least 700 ready townhouses and around 150 ready villas. This is all private construction. It's, but that kind of activity has now passed its maturity phase, but it will continue. If you're looking at communities along Sheikh Zayed Road, this is the villa and townhouse supply over here. And if we break that down by property type, right, it starts looking quite interesting. So no new future one and two bedroom townhouse is coming. Everything in lime green is ready. And everything in dark green is the future supply that is currently launched or un and under construction. And you can see the off plan, at least in this core belt over here, right, as a percentage of the ready supply is, is quite limited. Yet we've got a few four bedroom villas, five bedroom villas, a new kind of property type is gonna be coming in the area, the four bedroom twin villas in Talal for John. And uh, you know, another way to kind of break down the future supply in this in this particular area of Dubai is this is the ready supply, the blues are the villas, the greens are the townhouses. And you can see over the next two years, it's a limited stage kind of supply. It's not gonna be something crazy. And this is why we're seeing so much incredible price pressures. Now we'll come back and talk about prices here in the Alfred John district, but you know, we can compare all these communities together. And the easiest way to break it down is their price per square foot. And if you're looking at this chart over here, this is kind of a ranking of these communities based on their average US dollar per square foot. And you know, this is just trying to boil the market down into one number and then rank them. Jumeirah Islands is per square foot the most expensive. You can see the perspective here with Meadows, Jumeirah Park, and this is where the new Nakhil communities are ranking. Uh, right now, this is Kortaj, uh, and Kurtaj still has quite a bit of value. Alfred John West, a private construction, 350, 360 dirhams per square, dollars per square foot. It's just an average, right? If you want to get proper valuations on each of the property types, we can do that. But this is just to kind of give some perspective on this whole market. Okay, now the other thing we can do here is zoom out and get more of a perspective. So now we're taking into account the areas right behind downtown Dubai, the super prime district one and Dubai Hills. We're also taking into account Sidra and Maple. And then if you look at the valuations, District 1 and Jumeirah Islands are the most expensive areas, dollar per square foot. And, and then we've got Sidra here, which are high-end villas, but in Dubai Hills, it's a major benchmark. And what you can also see over here is that the offline market is trading at a discount to the ready market, and in some cases, a considerable discount. So for example, if you're looking at District 1, which is ready here, it's averaging $950 per square foot. You're looking at District 1 West 
at $600 per square foot, right? So if you look at this over here, this is District 1 Phase 1, and this is District 1 West. This is under construction. It's going to start heading over from 2026 onwards. And so there are definitely some improvements that are in this master plan, even though D1 might just be considered slightly more prime. This is the kind of difference you're seeing in price points between ready and off plan. And similarly, if you come over here to this side of the buy, places that like Meadows are around 570 dirhams per square foot. But if you're looking at the off plan for Johns, they are typically less than $450 per square foot. And even and these are some very nice houses that are coming up. But you can always expect Meadows and Jumeirah Park, Jumeirah Islands to trade at a premium to the Alfred John district. And that's always historically been the case. And the other thing to kind of consider here is that if you're looking at just this area, there is no primary off plan market. Everything is sold out by developers. So the only way to acquire a property here is obviously the ready market or from the off plan secondary market. With the off plan secondary market, you're involving more cash, but you're taking over payment plans. And the more attractive your payment plan is, the easier it is, of course, to sell it. And that is where we see more transactions, more liquidity in communities which have more attractive payment plans. And if you're looking at valuations here, let's say District 1, it's right behind Burj Khalifa, you're looking at around $950 per square foot. So $950 per square foot for ultra prime, you compare that to major global centers, it's at least 50% cheaper with no carrying costs. Now, one more chart to leave you with, and this one I think you'll find interesting. So we're comparing over here, the communities, and this is their current dollar per square foot that we've been marking. And then this is the dollar per square foot you would have seen in late 2020 through 2021, when the market had just started emerging from the 2020 low. So this is the kind of percent change we have seen in that time. Now, D1 West was just launched last year, so already it's about 25% above its launch values. But if you're scrolling further down, right, the highest growth is here at the bottom. So Jumeirah Islands District 1 has seen the highest uh, change in prices from those 2020 times, right? So it's just indicative of that luxury market, which was squeezed in. And we can see which communities have performed the best. Bay Hills, without a doubt, is is the best performing uh, villa market. Uh, even places like JBT has seen huge increases in price points. They were ridiculously low uh, back in 2020, those two bedroom villas. Can you believe they were at least for like 1.8 million more? 6,000, 7,000 square foot lands. You know, th those kind of valuations now just don't make any sense. So that's one of the reasons why you're making these videos so that we can all try to start getting some perspectives. And as you know, I always do point out, there's a lot of factors in place, so we're not trying to simplify it. But you know, this is just some tad bits of information that might be useful. Uh, now we can see Marujo for John. This is the one launched in 2021. Now, if you compare this growth to the other communities, you know, it's a difference because obviously Marujo for John was the first launch and it was launched at the lowest prices with the best payment plan. So the kind of returns that you've actually seen on your investment are even more than this because these properties are currently only 40% paid as they hand over. Okay, so anyway, I can talk a lot about these things all day long, but we're just trying to uh, put some perspective here. This is where the index now ranks as per property monitor, right? It's something we do like to look at at least every month. So historic index, so it's a great benchmark. Uh, so this is where we are right now in the cycle. Uh, we have gone almost parabolic in 2024. And now if you are a buyer, right, and you want to talk about villas in Alfred John, I can just give you a quick update on valuation. So if you want to buy a villa right now, pretty much you're looking at a starting price of six million uh, for a four bedroom villa. Uh, Cortage, the ready phases, they do have some three bedroom villas. Those typically start for around five million onwards. Uh, there are some deals here, especially Cortage. There's good value here, Alfred John West. There's private villas under construction. You're gonna get something incredible in terms of built up areas uh, and custom finishes as well. So if you wanna explore this market in more detail, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at any time. We've got a whole team to assist you and talk about and even visit these communities. But what you'll discover when you start diving deeper into all these communities, is that there's not a lot of supply. And I could open up a map for you for, uh, the best case for us is to explain Marujo for John where we've probably transacted, I, I don't know, maybe over 150, maybe 200 properties. Actually, if you count the launch even more. Uh, so most of the community, at least 80% of it has been resold at least once. Um, and uh, last thing maybe I can leave you with, I, I actually don't feel like ending this video because it's been quite some time. I really wanna try to give you this kind of data for every part of the bike. And we already have that data. It's just a matter of me having the time and doing it right and maybe trying to present it as best as I possibly can. But if you want to get in touch with us and talk about any of these things in more detail, you just hit the description box. You can connect with us. You know, there's a WhatsApp link. There's a link tree uh, link down there. So I hope this video adds some value to you and uh, take care. Thank you very much.